What's going on everyone? Nick here and welcome to another episode of NOS Cards. Today we're going to be opening up some more Pokemon tins um, and I believe in these tins are going to be some XY Evolutions packs that are pretty popular right now. Um, I've opened some up in the past that you guys have seen so in these tins that are uh, shaped like Pokeballs like a larger size uh, Pokeball and then I got a couple of mini tins as well that we're going to get into but before we even start ripping open those packs as always please hit that like and subscribe button below and we will be on our way all right everyone so here are the tins let me get a bigger look for you guys so here is the pokemon tins as i was saying before you can see that they are shaped like pokeballs and in the pokeball tins there's i believe three packs and a coin and then in these little ones these mini tins right here have like a card like an artwork card uh, a little coin and two packs as well um, if I remember correctly I believe these tens have the XY evolutions packs that I was mentioning a few moments ago and so that's why I decided I'd go ahead and rip them open so um, I think I'm gonna just open all the packaging up real fast and then we'll just go through them all together and see what we can get um, I've known some people uh, in my groups and even just from watching on other YouTube videos that have pulled some pretty good stuff out of these. So I'm hoping that we have the same luck. Um, you can usually get these, I think, to be honest, if you guys have a Costco membership, um, I'm pretty sure you guys can get this stuff at Costco, but um, these little packs have, uh, let's see, again, these two tens and then the Pokeball 10, and then you can probably just find these wherever you want. I think Target, if you can find them, sells these pokeballs for like maybe 15 bucks so if you uh are wanting one for yourself uh just be on the lookout i mean as much as the card scene has kind of died down a little bit it's not as crazy as it was during the uh you know the peak of covid but it's still pretty um pretty popular and stuff is still pretty hard to get from time to time so there we are so if you can't find stuff, I suggest you grab it. All right, so I'm thinking we will open up the balls first and then we'll get into these. Probably this one last because it's Charizard and as you guys know, I'm superstitious. So we'll start with this premium ball first. And the nice thing about these balls is after you're done with them, if you have kids, you can just let them play with it and they'll just throw it around and act like they're catching uh, Pokemon. So. If you don't have kids, then they make nice uh, decorations for shelves and whatnot, unless uh, you're not nerdy like that. So, if that's the case, then, well, I guess you can just throw them away. But, as for me, I have a couple around the house already, mainly because both my kids like to play with them. So, there you guys have it. So, I'm just going to open that one up, and I'll open this one up too. That way, we can just kind of keep moving right along here. Oops. Yeah, I was always, because I've opened a couple of these before, just not on this channel, and I was always kind of hesitant about opening these up, because, you know, the contents inside the coin and the packs can kind of shift around a little bit, and I was always afraid that that could damage the card, get some unnecessary uh, whiting on the back, especially if it's a good card, but I've actually had pretty good um, results in terms of the conditions of the card, so this thing just pops open like so there we are we have a I can get it looks like a Vulcanian coin and we got these three packs we have a Sun and Moon burning shadows and with this one a break point so not bad not XY like I thought maybe this one has it but we got three pretty good packs that we'll dive into and we'll just go ahead and open up this one as well maybe we'll just open up all the tins i don't know and in this one probably another volcanian coin no i can't tell it's hard to tell on that one um so that's what comes in these balls three packs and a coin and with this pack 
think it's the same thing. I got Burning Shadows. Oh, so here we go. We have an XY Evolutions pack, one of them. So that's good. That's a good hit that we want. And another Sun and Moon. But you guys kind of see how mangled these packs are. That's why I'm kind of always hesitant to open up these balls. But sometimes the pack just looks worse than the actual cards inside. So hopefully nothing that we pull that's good is going to, um, you know, be damaged too bad, hopefully. So we got XY, and you know what? Just because we're already opening all this other, all these uh, tens up, I'm just gonna go ahead. That way we can just rip through packs. We're gonna go ahead and open up these two tens as well. So again, with these ones, they have a coin, but instead of three packs, they have two. These are known as the mini tens. And I believe, if I said it already, I apologize, but they have like a little artwork card that's inside as well. So. If you guys enjoy that, then I suggest you get these two. And these are a little bit cheaper retail-wise. Usually, like, I think like 10 bucks or so. Okay, so we open this up. We got an Entei coin. I'm going to keep that because I love Entei. He's my favorite Pokemon, so that's cool. And come on out. We got an XY Evolutions pack, which is definitely what we uh, wanted. Bam. And we got a Crimson Invasion pack. Gotta try to be careful. And then here's the artwork card. It's just the front of the uh, the tin. So that's what the card looks like. Just so you guys have an idea. So I'll put that back in there. And then for this one, it's gonna be the same thing. Hopefully we get at least one XY Evolutions pack in here. And then the artwork card, a tin, or a, uh, a coin, rather, and one other pack, if I can open it. There we go. Yeah, sorry we're like seven minutes into this video <laughs> and you guys haven't seen any cards, so my apologies, but hopefully you like the sound of my voice, otherwise uh, I suggest that you skip ahead probably for like the next 30 seconds or so. There we go. These things are sealed pretty good. I mean, that's good. That's what you want. You don't want the seal to be broken and have somebody possibly hop in and tamper with it and whatnot and steal some stuff. So, we got another Intake coin, which is cool. We got uh, another XY Evolutions pack, which is what we want, and another Crimson Invasion. And then that's what the card looks like on the inside. So, if you like Charizard, let's just you pick up one of these. Okay, now that we've gone through all four tens, we got 10 packs total. So for me, I think we're gonna save the XY Evolutions packs for last. And then I think we will do these Crimson Invasions first. And see what random stuff we can pull. So, ah. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know what you can get out of Crimson Invasion off the top of my head. Um, I didn't really go after this set when I got back into all this collecting just because from what I can remember there wasn't really anything, you know, great to pull. So there you guys go. Two, three, four, and we are off. So we got Lightning Energy, Larion, Psychic Memory, Mawile, Mankey, Swinub. Cacnea, Bunnelby, Shellos, Swablu, Reverse Hollow, and an Oranguru, non hollow. And that's why Crimson Invasion wasn't that popular. It's kind of like. Oh, there's another one. I had opened him on this channel before as well, and it's escaping me at the moment. Um. But it's not that popular of of a set, just because again, there's no there's no real chase cards out of it. I mean, it's nice if you're just trying to play the game and there's some cards for for gameplay, but for the most part, there's there's just really nothing in there that you want to go after. So here's uh, Diggersby, a Peking Red card, Grumpig, Shellos, Corfish. Minchino, um, Magic Carp with a robotic Magic Carp behind it. It's kind of a cool looking card. Execute, 
reverse hollow artillery, and a bead drill. So that was our experience, a very tiny experience with Crimson Invasion. So you guys are welcome. I suggest you don't go after that unless you just like collecting and don't plan on opening anything up. Um, so good luck. With Sun and Moon, there's a couple of rainbow rares that we'll try to go after if we can. Maybe we'll get one right here. Not a bad set, it's just the Sun Moon base set. So we got Leaf, Team Skull Grunt, Poison Barb, Stuffle, Marini, Dupider, Bond Sweets, Steeny, and what we got behind door number one. We got an Arcanine Holographic. So not a full art or anything, but just a cool looking holographic card in I mean, he's probably one of, he's, he's probably in the top 10 of my favorite Pokemon. So, nice pull. It's a cool looking card too. So, I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Alright. See if we can get lucky again. Wasn't really expecting too much out of these packs. You know, everybody thinks that these packs are probably just left over. Um, packs that just weren't sold uh, sometimes that can be the case but other times it's just you know the reprints and sometimes people are like yeah you know they're not worth it because you're not going to get anything but again I've seen people who have pulled stuff out of these tens and have hit fire so I mean it's just like anything else you take a gamble and hope that it, uh, it pays off so we got uh, Genghis Kong who looks very very sad reverse hollow and uh crab abominable so there you guys go and that concludes sun and moon so really haven't gotten anything yet and I'm not too surprised you know my expectations weren't too high they kind of are for for the xy stuff so like you know this breakpoint and then the xy evolutions so we'll see if we get anything. Um, there's definitely some good cards in the rest of these sets. Um, so hopefully we get lucky. But again, uh, my hopes aren't too high. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what these tens would look like, what's inside, and what you could possibly grab out of them. So hopefully we uh, we get lucky. Let's see, that's an X Y. I think it's three cards. I think. Hopefully I didn't screw this up. And I don't think I did. So, there's another Arcanine. Pretty cool. Misty's Determination. A Gyarados Spirit Link. That's a Mega Gyarados. An Esper. A Growlithe. You know, I really like this artwork. I haven't opened up too many of these, uh, these breakpoints. Gibble. Gibble, Gibble, Gibble. Phantom. A Shelter Reverse Hollow. And... We get a Togekiss EX. So we got our first hit of the day in terms of, you know, EX cards, GX cards, or just full art cards. So not bad. I'll take it. Could have been better. It could have been a lot worse. Got my battle style sh sleeves right here. You know, and some of the sleeves work really well, and some of them are just kind of hard to get in. But there we go. So we got our first big hit of the day. Not our first hollow by any means, because we had that holographic um, arcanine. But first, first hit in terms of EX cards, GX cards, V, V Max, all that fun stuff. So now we're gonna get into Burning Shadows. And I believe, if I remember correctly, I mean, there's so many sets and so many things to keep track of. It's it's hard to, to remember everything, but I think, I think there is a Charizard in here that we would probably want to grab. I think it's a Rainbow. A Rainbow GX Charizard, if I remember right. And I think Burning Shadows is four. Yep, there we go. So we got Energy, Dusclops, Semi-Seer, Mudbray, Tynamo, Oddish, Duskull, 
Meow Stick, Reverse Hollow, and an Alolan Ninetales. Okay. It's our last Burning Shadows pack. If I can open it. There you guys go. And we got a water, bodybuilding dumbbells, ride on, a Lowland Grimer, Riolu, Meowth, a Lowland Vulpix, Wimpod, Meowth Reverse Hollow, and a Slow King. All right, guys. So we now have our final three XY Evolutions packs. Hopefully, there's something good in here. Um, Chase cards, any full art card that we can find, any of the Megas of the big three, so Blastoise, Venusaur, or Charizard, and then there's the reprint of the original Charizard, there's a reverse holo and a holographic, so those are definitely the top cards that we're going to try to pull, so uh, let's see what we get with our first one. And there you guys go. One, two, three. Okay, so Professor Oak's Hint, Energy, Super Potion, Voltorb, Diglett, Caterpie, Poliwag, Pikachu, Reverse Hollow Machop, and a Starmie. Okay, so we got a Pokedex, Porygon, Pidgeot Spirit Link, Ghastly, Magnemite, Seal, Charmander, Diglett, a Reverse Hollow Ponyta, and a Beedrill. So man, today we haven't gotten much. Bunch of reverse hollows, which pretty much come in every pack, you know, nothing uh, too surprising there, but really the only two hits, technically one, are just that hollow arcanine and that toka kiss. So these tens have not been too kind. So if you guys decide that you want to buy some cards, hopefully I give you a bit of insight. I mean anything can happen. You can you can get anything, but so far. We aren't batting so well. All right, here we go. Spirit Link, Metapod, a uh, Emakuni Doduo, which I've never seen before. I don't know if this is normal or not, but um, I think I'll set it aside because I didn't even know this was a thing. It's very interesting because it has a random dude I shouldn't say random. That is the artist of this card. He's in the bottom left, if you guys see. So, he decided to draw himself into this card. So, I'm going to set this aside because I don't know much about it, and I think that's really cool. Alright, so we got a Rattata, a Weedle, a Voltorb, a Poliwag, Reverse Hollow, and we got it! Woo! So, sorry for the scream, but this is one of the cards that we definitely wanted. This is the Charizard. Now there's this reverse hollow Charizard, all right, like this. And then the holographic Charizard, you know, has the normal holographic pattern. And that last card is Eradicate for you guys. Um, but this is one of the top two cards that you wanted to grab because, again, it's reverse hollow Charizard. It's from the original print. And unfortunately, I mean, it's a great pull, great pull. I'm, I'm excited that we got it. But as you guys can probably tell, maybe you can't, the centering is off on it. Just a little bit. 
there's more of a border on this side than that side. Top to bottom, the top looks a little bit more than the bottom. And then on this back side here, usually if it's that way on the front, it's gonna be the same way on the back. So the border is more on this side compared to that side and more top to bottom. But we pulled what we wanted to pull. So that just made it all worth it. That made everything worth it. Out of all the tens and everything, this just made our day, guys. So, sorry for the obnoxious, crazy scream. Uh, I didn't know exactly how I was going <laughs> to react, but I'm pretty stoked about that. I mean, that's what we wanted to grab. So, we'll take it. We will take it. Add it to the Charizard collection. Here we go. Oops. Awesome. So, way to end on Last Pack Magic. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, to review today's hits, this guy, if you would like to count him, it's a holographic, and he's one of my favorite Pokemon. You know, he's definitely probably in the top ten, so it's good. Togekiss, EX, and then this guy, Reverse Hollow Charizard. And for guys who don't or have never seen the original artwork from Charizard, that's what it looks like. That is the same type of artwork from the original. This is a reprint from 2016 from XY Evolutions, and it's very popular for that reason, because of that artwork. And they have this reverse hollow one. And like I was saying, they have just a normal holographic one as well. So good, good stuff that totally made my day. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. So just awesome. Just awesome. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I mean, just a great way to end. Great way to end. On the very last pack to get that, I mean, that's... That's the way I'd like things to happen more often, hopefully. Uh, I mean, but you never know what's gonna happen with these things. Like I said earlier, it's a gamble. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, sorry for that scream. I didn't know how I was going to react. And uh, yeah, looking back on it right now, I mean, I'll probably rewatch this and edit some of this stuff out, but just my first impressions from that was kind of bad. So hope you guys laugh at it. And uh, you know, it's, it's what we're here for, so. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I think next video I'm going to do, um, we're going to open up some Shining Fates and then a special Elite Trainer box that you guys have probably never seen before. So stay tuned. Um, before I let you guys go, as always, please have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week. And most importantly, you guys take it easy. All right. Take care.